Hello and welcome to this global video about how to create an Hello World case. I'm Valentin Zickner and I'm going to walk you through how you can create your case in Flowable. To get started, you can either use a local Flowable installation or in case you don't have one, you can also use the Flowable trial. Now in Flowable design, we are going to start and create a new app. So let's press the create button. And then we call that hello world case app. That's our app. We automatically generate a key for you. And then you have additional properties, which you can fill in, but don't need to. Now let's press create. Once we press create, we are inside our app view. There we can go ahead and create a new model. Let's just uh, use a model type case since we would like to have a hello world case. And let's call that hello world case. Now, once we press create here, we are entering the flowable design editor. Now you have different views, which you have actually here on the left hand side, which is our palette. In the palette, you can have either the small view uh, or a medium view or a list view. You can toggle between those with the buttons here at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to uh, use the small view here for now. Now in the middle, we have our case plan model. That is uh, basically the main element in which our case is going to happen. On the right hand side, you have a properties panel, which is either collapsed like this one or open. I'm going to use it open now for the most of the time. At the top, you have that tab navigation bar with also a quick search where you can search for models and so on and have uh, quick actions. Then you have here a publish button that will send that actually to global work. You have tabs over here that you can have different models open. And then we have a toolbar which is focused on the current model. Now in our Hello World case, let's create two user tasks or human tasks as we call them in CMMN. Uh, we call one hello and we call the second one world. Now I'm going to add a form uh, to both of them and I'm using the same form. So let's create a new uh, sub form, hello world um, case form. And I keep the form simple for now since it's about the case and not about uh, this form. Let's add one field in here. We just call that hello world. It's a text field for now, but you can also pick a different kind of field. And we have that here in a form reference and we are going to add the same form reference over here. Therefore you press link to an existing instance instead of filling out that form and then select the hello world case form. And now we have assigned that form to both. I'm going to change one more thing for the world. I say this one is going to be manual activated. So with that, we have kind of a button in the user interface as we are going to see soon. Now let's save that. And actually let's save all of them that we also have the form saved. Then we are going to publish it. That's done with the cloud icon over here. Uh, we are using our uh, default deployment target. And once we press publish, we have that available in Flowable Work. When I now go to Flowable Work, I can start here a new case instance. So let's press new and then work. And then we have in here the hello world case. When once I uh, want to start that, it asks me to confirm. You can also add a start form here, then it will show the form and here we have now the first field. It's hello world in our hello world task. When we go uh, to the case actually, and that we can by clicking at the top, that we have the hello uh, task in here and the world task is up here. So you have both of them available by default. You only need to activate the world task by a click. But before we do that, um, let's click on the hello task and we want so hello world everyone and then we complete that with that this task disappears the task is actually completed 
we can also see that here in the history so that one has now a, a blue border actually while this one here is not yet activated that's why uh, it doesn't have a colored border and with that we can now go ahead and say yes we activate the world task as well and now once we open the world task we see also the text which we entered before since both of them have a common scope now let's complete that one and with that the case is also completed now when you would like to uh, have more knowledge about case management and get started with a, a more complicated case i recommend you to check out our modeling guide uh, i will actually link the video below in the description as well uh, where we show you uh, how you can model a travel request and that series is also available here uh, at YouTube uh, when you just search for modeling by example travel request. I hope you enjoyed this small little introduction video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.